What's up, guys? Welcome to another GameSpot Plays. It is I, Ty, with the lovely Mike Mahardy. What's up, Ty? What's up, Mike? How's it going? Let's play some Uncharted. Sweet. Uh, we're going to play uh, the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. Well, actually, Mike's going to play it. All right. Because um, he's young and has, like, those twitch reflexes. I guess so. You don't want me playing this game. No, not at all. No, so um, we are fortunate enough to be able to do a quick preview a subjective preview of all three games, and we thought it'd be fun to run through a chapter of each one. So we'll start with uh, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, and just kind of work our way. We should just continue from the plane wreck, why not? Yeah, we'll skip the intro. Yeah. Ty was playing this a little bit. Well, actually, we were both playing this a little bit yesterday, but yes, Ty got to a certain point in the story, so. Yeah, I just wanted to, I, I, I wanted to show off, obviously the game is running uh, full 1080p now at um, 60 frames per second, which is awesome. And I was playing this yesterday, and it just kind of brought back a lot of memories of, what, 2007 is when this first game, this game came out? so. That's probably announced in 2006. Yeah. AD3, and then uh, it's awesome. Uh, another cool thing is we can, hopefully, we'll be able to show you the, some of the uh, differences between this version and uh, the original. So this is the, since the first game in the franchise. Um, the visuals are a little bit different. Obviously, it performs different, but yeah. this is great, though. And this is after he thinks... We should also preface this by saying we're going to spoil some shit. So the statute of limitations on this game is way past. Yeah. So if you don't want to be spoiled, just turn this video off. And don't fucking bitch about it in the comments. I'm tired of this shit. I don't know. My but this is after Sully... Uh, you find the U-boat. This is right after you find the U-boat. Sully gets shot. You think he's dead. Uh, Drake shows no remorse whatsoever. No. He seems surprised and then moves and on. And then moves on with Elena... Uh, Fisher to uh, the island where he thinks El Dorado is. Yeah. Where he thinks the uh, the Germans maybe moved, or the Spanish moved um, El Dorado. So, right. There was a German U-boat earlier on. There was a U-boat, yeah. And he found the map there. Um, and then the uh, the creepy... I forgot the guy's name. The creepy dude. It's like in every Indiana Jones flicks. The creepy white guy who wants to just reign the world. <laughs> His face will eventually just melt. <laughs> yeah, so basically he uh, he's the one that Supposedly kill Sully. There we go. Yeah. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed-esque parkour stuff. Oh, this is like the same Remember the, the six-axis controller on those things? Yeah. Like, you would have to balance it. I wonder yep. if you still have to do that. Um, oh, you're going to have to kill oh, some more pirates. Shit. The first of many, I'm sure. Murderous pirate rampage here. The one thing... Um, I liked, the one thing that bothered me about this game is the fact you have to pick up ammunition like you do right now. You still have to yep. do that, unfortunately. But the cool thing about this version is that the trigger, the shooting now, is with R2. Yeah. And not R1, which is fantastic. Mm, R1 reloads now. Oh, it does, okay. Um, this last guy. Oh, he's reloading. Ooh, I'm close to dying. I'll... That was always a risk. Got him in the head. Go. Good job. All right. So, uh, man, when this game came out, it was like... No. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make you do that anymore. Nope, Thank God. <laughs> no, I um, I liked... Uh, man, when this game came out, it was interesting because you, you, you kind of thought that... I don't know, at the time you thought Naughty Dog was going to possibly do a new Jack and Daxter. Yeah. And then um, they just came out with a whole new IP. And then they really tested the limits of that cell processor on that PS3. Yeah, this was kind of that transition between the charm of Jack and Daxter and then just the utter like despair of The Last of Us. Yeah. Because The Last of Us was what, the 2013? Oh, geez. man, your aim is off there, bro. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, it was yeah. it was weird because I remember when this came out, everyone was calling it like, you know, there was, uh, it was like Dude Raider, you know? Like everyone was like, oh, it's like Tomb Raider oh, with a dude. <laughs> yep. And um, a quick whip, you know, Nathan Fillion type, you know, sarcasm, crap like that. And... But it was actually, it's, it was just a really fun game in its own, its own right. And um, obviously people did draw a lot of comparisons to Tomb Raider at the time, but you kind of have less puzzle solving here, um, even though there is puzzle solving in this yeah, game. Yeah, they really pushed that with 2. I remember there were a few yeah. sp spots in 2 where I actually sort of got stuck when I first played. They weren't too complicated, but yeah. I guess just more so than this game. Later, uh, when we get to a certain point, maybe after this chapter, um, we'll show you a quick comparison of um, a cutscene in Uncharted in this one, uh, versus what it looked like on the PS3. There are some minor differences. Uh, really, it's about performance, I think, and I, we can preface this by saying also there's a day one patch for this game that um, that um, I have on this standy, uh, handy sheet here, which will hopefully improve. It says here, minor fixes for stability, audio, and visual improvements, as well as performance optimizations. So, um, 
You're reviewing this game, right, for GameSpot? Yep. The yeah. review will be up uh, on September 30th. The game itself releases on October 9th. Yeah. So, yeah, the review's going up a while before. And that was the worst grenade toss ever. <laughs> I say that now, but I'll probably do something. Yeah, I just want to let people know, like, we're, we'll review the game, but we're not, you're not going to get a full-fledged comparison only because the game is going to have a day one patch, apparently, that will improve visuals. Yeah. So um, we'll have to check that out. Um, it's weird that they're doing that on day one, so it kind of makes reviewing the game challenging, but... Just pass all those AKs. Oh, yeah. Larry, there's all the good, fun platforming. Still feels pretty good for being the first game. Um, Obviously, you get those bigger set pieces in two and three, especially with the you know the famous train scene right at the beginning of two, the yeah. cargo airplane in three, where you're just tumbling out, kind of doing some sort of Legolas thing. Oh, there's a treasure. You can get these. Get the treasure. The yeah. collectibles. Get all sixty. What are these games for if not? Train. I remember this would this would like unlock like if you got all of them, it would start to unlock things like uh, invincibility and Whoop. weird shit like that. I remember back in the day, I just never collected them all. I never really cared to be honest with you. Uh, no, I d don't think I did either. Unless yeah. I was like worried about trophies, which I don't think I was. No, I wasn't either. I mean, I really, it's one of those games where I just quick, I loved it for the story. Mm -hmm. This is the very first game I got for my PS3. I didn't get a PS3 until 2008. And I remember this was the very first game I picked up for it. I actually cut the video review for this game um, for IGN. Oh, nice. I, I remember, oh, shh. Um, I remember, when this first one came out, obviously people were excited. Stop throwing those. People were excited about it because it was, you know, Naughty Dog, but it took people a while to realize like, how good it was. Or it took like, a lot of people who didn't play right away a while. You know, it was kind of word of mouth, and then everybody's like, wow, this is actually really good. Well, it was, it was interesting because they, you... Oh, there's a guy behind you. Damn, there's a couple of guys. Get down! I just remember the, 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 the best thing about this game was the fact that um, you're going to get your ass killed again. Oh, the blind fire. No, I like the fact that it was like in this very open, colorful environment. Like they even talk about that when they were developing this, like how to make these like luscious environments. You see the shadows, you see the textures. I mean, the game, the game still looked great for a PS3 title, especially. And I think like, I could be wrong, but it seems like Naughty Dog was like the first developer that really took advantage of like the uh, technology behind the PS3. Yeah. I remember hearing like stories like how they like basically had to rewrite all their code. Like they had like their own version of stuff they operated on when they before the uh, PS3 came out, and then for this particular game, they finally kind of just said, "Okay, we're going to redo everything." I think even like maybe nine months into the production cycle of this game, things went kind of nuts, and they just said, "Okay, fuck it, we're just going to go full C++ whatever at this yeah. point." Um, and they did a good job. I remember, like, you get in the water, and, like, he's wet, you know? Like, that yeah, was that back was awesome. on the PS3, so... Um, I remember, yeah, I remember, like, Killzone 2 looked great on the PS3, but this was definitely one of them that really showcased it. I mean, because you go through, the, like, a lot of jungle environments in this one, and that's kind of the biome you're going through the whole time. Then yeah. two, you're in the Himalayas a lot, with snow and everything. And then three, is just mainly desert. desert. Yeah. yeah. But kind of, yeah, the best of all of them, I guess. Might want to probably cut to two soon if I don't get a checkpoint here. Yeah, let's, um... I guess what we can do real quick is... We can show you the end cutscene of this. I already have it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll it, Eric. I just wanted to show. I wanted to quickly show like some of the major differences between. Um, you can just keep playing. We'll roll it. All right, I'll Eric get, will I'll roll get it. Yeah. Ready anyway. So it's rolling right now, as you see right here, up top. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna. Yeah. Get... So this was. This is after he gets captured by, one of his. Uh, I guess. Competing treasure hunters. And I just wanted to quickly show like some of the uh, the graphics differences. Like you can see on his face, on the left hand side is basically your PS4. On the right is PS3. So essentially, you have a little bit more textures on the brick. You have more textures and quality on Nathan Drake. Um, again, nothing's final in this particular scene, but we just kind of want to show it off to see how it was. This was actually um, one of the also cutscenes they released um, as a promotional material. Is that guy's what is what's his name? Uh, Diego? I completely forgot. Yeah. There's a lot about the first game I don't remember. Yeah. Two, I I played three a couple times. Two, I played twice. One. Oh, this first. is Eddie. Okay. Eddie. Okay, yeah. So Eddie captures him, and then Elena obviously breaks him free here. But this is cool. Like, this is, I think this was the scene that um, that really just kind of got me pumped about this game. I was like, wow, this is like actually something kind of fun and interesting. The story is well, really what drove me to these, uh, to all three of them. Yeah. It definitely, it's just being able to go back them. I mean, they're still, they all 
The thing about remasters is just because they look better doesn't mean they're going to be great. They could be yeah. really old games that don't hold up as well, but you know these games all are still yeah. really fun to play. Also, it's important, like, I mean, on, in this particular comparison here, the footage on the right is through PS3. That was also captured at 720p. We had to, we, I had to upscale it because it's just, it, the game didn't run natively at 1080p. It ran like a 720p 30, you know? Um, or maybe it did run at 60, I forgot. But regardless, like, it, you know, you can see some minor differences here. Obviously, if you had them, like, side by side, it'd become a more, like, stark comparison. Yeah. But you can tell. The textures... The models um, are a little bit different, and um, yeah, they're just talking shit to each other here. And Elena's gonna bust him out with the Jeep eventually at some point. Let's roll two. We got two queued up, so we can start this. Yeah, Do a new game here. Neither of us have played this yet. Do normal. In the uh, remaster. So there's the brutal. Yep. We have to unlock it. That's how hard it is. This game gets hard on the uh, crushing difficulty, I remember. Yeah. I remember like when you platinum this thing, it was like just nerve-wracking. No, I never, uh, I was like, fuck that, I'm done. Because there's that one scene, and I say scene like it's a movie, but they're very cinematic, but there, you're in the Himalayan village, it gets attacked with like a tank and everything. I remember that being tough. Yeah. So, I like how every, uh, every game starts like a quote from some like world explorer. Yeah, the third one is... Um, the first is, Nate, is uh, Sir Francis Drake, the yeah. Marco Polo. Third one is Joan of Arc. Is whoever said like, yeah. or no, Lawrence of Arabia okay. said like, uh, "Beware the dreamers of the day" or something. This Similar. one, the way this starts, the way this game starts is pretty unbelievable, and I like the fact that it's all like out of sequence. Mm -hmm. That's my blood. Kind of a Tarantino That's thing. Blood. Yeah. Of my blood. You see his uh, outfit changed a little bit. He's now wearing like the Henley with the undershirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think his jeans are a little slimmer in this one. Yeah, he lost weight. He's not wearing bell bottoms anymore. No. He's still wearing chucks. You know, he's wearing like mountain boot or hiking shoes or something like that. Yeah. I just remember what a way to start the game. Yeah. So this is after, again, spoilers. This is after he meets Chloe. Right? Like this all, because like, the game. In, yeah, chronological. In chronological order, he's talking with Chloe, who's the hot Australian girl that he like ends up banging at some point in this game. I think so. And then everyone's like, well, what happened to Elena? Like, it's all about Elena. All right, let's. I remember this was one of those games early on where I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be controlling this right now. Yeah. Can I? There we go. Oh, other side, there we go. Yeah, and then it cuts back to this. Yeah. This is probably my favorite one, I think. Yeah, I think it's, you know, a lot, most people would say two is the best one, I think. Um, I, I'm looking forward to replaying them just to see how much I still agree with that. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, my. You're okay. You're okay. fine. <laughs> you got it. Don't worry Forget about how it. much of this I'm able to dodge. Oh, that actually. That was one thing I was always impressed about Nathan Drake is that uh, he has impeccable climbing abilities. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just unbelievable. Like, yep. for a guy that never trained as a climber, just kind of, I mean, in addition to being a lethal with a gun and hand-to-hand -hand combat, He's pretty handy with his hands. He's a, jack, he's a jack of all trades. He's great. And yeah, just the scale of this to start off a game is really ambitious, but they don't really let up throughout the entire game. No. Some lulls, but... It's like a full-on action movie. They, I remember the controls being a little bit tighter in this one, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just like, what a way to start a game. And he's also, like, has no blood left in his body, so... No, so he's just superhuman. He's great. Oh, all right. It's just a cool scene. I just remember the scene being like, I'd love to see this side by side now with the uh, with the original. Yeah, because this looks awesome is. right now. It looks great. The yeah. lighting, the reflection on the metal right there looks great. Yeah, I mean they. I would definitely encourage people that haven't played these games to play them because they are a lot of fun. I don't think like they don't. I don't think they do anything like revolutionary in terms of gameplay. No. Like it's just. There's some fun moments, the games look great. It was more of an accomplishment on the PS3 hardware, but at the same time, it was just, you know, they're just really fun games. Plus the writing is just awesome. The dialogue and the yeah. characters are great. Well, that was one thing that they took advantage of. I think, I think Naughty Dog really wanted to capture like human emotion and like mm -hmm. storytelling, and they were able to do that with, uh, you know, obviously they had um, Emily Rose and Nolan North as uh, Elena Fisher and Nathan Drake, and they were able to kind of really capture their emotions and their characters, like the motion capture and everything else. Um, and like, you just get some 
You just get some really great storytelling moments in this, based off not just the dialogue, but how it comes off. You can see it in the characters. Yeah. And it's great. Oh, Especially the third one with him and Sully, which is like really, that was probably one of my favorite stories, to show like how they be, kind of became to be like buddies. Yeah, because he kind of raised them. Yeah, well, which what is is, awesome. They were in the uh, museum, I forget where, what country. Yeah. In Morocco, maybe? I can't remember. And yeah. um, he's just looking through, that's when he first started talking about being a descendant of Nathan Drake, or Francis Drake. Yeah. All right. And right here, this is awesome, too. Jump! Goo. See, that's like very Hollywood, right? Yep. Just so Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah, man, it still looks great, though. It still looks fun. There we go. Much faster should, start in the first. There we go. Three, what was it? Three start. Uh, the three, the one set piece I remember is the cargo airplane. You're kind of climbing up the crates as they fall out. Yes. Um, gotta go back to... It's a weird button sequence. Um, three? Yeah. I really like three a lot. Three's good. Three's one of my, I mean, it's... I think story-wise, it's one of my favorite ones. I think I just liked the whole presentation of two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is where, like, it. This is where, like, they they start like in that pub, right? In like London, it's yeah. Sully and Nathan and then right, uh, and Drake, yeah. and then they get into some fucking huge ass fist fight. And this is where we're like, like you start seeing like a lot of those combos and like, you know, melee I'm attacks. I'm interested how the remaster will look because I remember the fighting in. The original game was actually kind of clippy. It didn't yeah. feel that great, so I'm interested to see if they remedied that with this, which I'm, you know, hopefully they did because the shooting feels great and that never used to. They didn't do a quote at this one. Interesting. Did you see a quote? I didn't see one. No, maybe they'll do it after this. I just hear Nathan talking. To London. So they're in London. Oh, there, there we go. go. I think it's oh. Lawrence of Arabia. For they may act their dream with open Oh, he eyes says it too. To make it possible. This. You're right. Well, T.E. Lawrence. T.E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, okay. So they start in London, and this is where they're meeting that um, dude, Talbot. Look at the raindrops, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, they're all dressed up, that's right. They're like in civilian clothing. Mm -hmm. His dinner jacket. Just chilling. A nice yeah. British pub. There are dinner jackets and there are dinner jackets. This is the ladder. Nice. I like that transition from the manhole to the dartboard. Yep. <laughs> they really do a good job of making these like cinematic. Like I yeah. just, I love, it's like you are playing the movie. It's just yeah. really, really cool. You just, you know when they walk in, they're just going to stand out like fucking, you know, tomorrow. Yeah, the guy in the hoodie's not happy. Nope. And they all just want to fight them all. Yeah, they all just want to kick a shot at them. A lot of boxers on the walls. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, this guy's gonna start some shit. Fisticuffs are on their way. So it's, um, it's what was her name? Uh, Catherine, right? Marlowe? Yes, that sounds very familiar. Right. I just wonder who the voice actress was of that. Yourself, oh, I have to find out now. Nice warm welcome. She Rosalind Ayers. Whoa. You are way off on that. My apologies. I remember her looking sort she of like... She looks like Judy Dench, I think. Or Judy Dench or like Meryl Streep. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. She sounds like one of them. And then uh, this is cool because I want to... I Hopefully we can get through this and then... I mean, we probably won't even play the game. We can just comment on it. Mm -hmm. But... Well, no, you will get into a fight here. Yes. I forgot. Pretty soon. I forget what happens. But it goes straight from here them. to the flashback. I'm almost positive it does. You want to brawl first? There's all your money. There's, There's the Judy queen. Dench. <laughs> Sully's so mustache is sick. Judy Dench is on English Bills, right? I really? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? I don't think so. No. And by that I mean pounds. We'd have to ask our UK. So office. he gives away his necklace with that ring. Silver. Sixteenth century. This is that Talbot guy, I think, right? Design. Yeah. He's kind of a douchebag as well. Francis Drake's motto. Well. Remember there's one point where him and Marlowe are kind of the twist comes out, and then he Drake starts hallucinating. They 
shoot him with that stuff. That's right. And then it just becomes this trip in the desert, and then you. Is that what the thing where like you just had to hold forward for like a long ass time? Yeah, in the like, desert. What is going on? This is the part I hate about this game. That was the only part I did not like about it. I think they tried to do something like yeah. the ladder in Metal Gear Solid Three, where you're just like, be patient. It's going to be impactful, but then you're just walking in the desert for like Ever. five minutes. Yeah. Well, you also do that through like towns. I remember like you're going through a town, and you're also like walking through that town, and it's taking forever. Yeah. Kind of strained the cinematic stuff. You blew it. Come on, Nate. Let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the classic line. Where shit's about to break. Go down. Pinstripes versus like Jason Statham coming up and just saying, "Hey, just chill, bro. Chill." That guy is the classic-looking tough English guy, the one that just pushed him, and he is the classic-looking just doofus. Yeah, bad guy in a pinstripe suit. Boom. There we go. I like how he just walks away calmly. It's in every movie. The yeah. bad guy just starts to walk away calmly while shit break goes down. As long as he has the briefcase. I just remember, like, yeah, like, you're like, well, you're starting on melee attacks and you can counter attack and also that yeah. kind of weird shit. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, Man. you missed that one. There you go. Fuck him up. There you go, Sully. Oh, I'm Sully's in trouble. Oh, this Drake's in trouble. Nice. Oh no. Of course I have to fight the big guy. Yeah. There's your slow-mo. Oh. Yes. This is all like so Hollywood. It's great. Yeah. That shot was good. Yeah. It's like, oh, right. chapter one. Now you have to fight more dudes. Another round. Get it? Works on yep. a lot of levels. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, they did a good job, like, doing the tutorial. Like, I mean, I just, I liked it, like, it was like, okay, hey. Yeah. You're gonna do a lot of melee in this game, so here's just a quick tutorial. And it's fun. It's like a fun kind of, like, Hollywood movie type style scene, but it teaches you how to fight and do all the counters and everything else. Yeah, it's great. Oh, there's Sully. Get out of Sully. Flipping through a guy. It looks like his jaw broke. Maybe that's just his face. Oh. Tiles oh no. Slow up. Oh! But now it's jaw broken. In the toilet, right? Yep. Of course. <laughs> that's another Hollywood trope. Yep. You knock a guy out and his face always goes in the toilet. This whole scene is just a love letter it's to just, Hollywood. Yeah, it is. Bar room it's brawls. just every trope you could possibly think of. Let's just throw them all in there. More fighting. There's a lot of guys in this bar. Yeah. I kind of forgot how much melee you do in this game yeah. like the very beginning of it. But and everything like, is yeah. so like, it's just, what, it's just oh, such, that's so <laughs> such a homage to like all these like movie fight scenes that take place in kitchens, using the environment to fuck guys up and everything. It's great. Oh, here we go. Oops. This guy's a different guy. He looks very similar. Uh, damn it. Oh. Sully's oh, just Sully's super tired. not doing great anymore. Oh. They all look like Jason Statham. Yep. Oh, here's Catherine. Here she is. Here's your Judy, Judy Dench. Dench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Meryl Streep, I think. Was you know what? what she looks a lot of. like her voice actress. Like, watch her pull her up. Kind of. She, does, she really does. She yeah. looks a lot like a voice actress, yeah. Just slightly more malicious than the voice actress. Yeah. Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm you. There's this weird underlying insanity that she kind of gives off. Give me that back. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shut up. Oh, wow. Shoots everyone. I forgot that he shot both of them. So did I. Cutter shot both of them off. We'll get our revenge, don't worry. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, like, when you're playing this game, you're like, they didn't just kill those two guys. There's no way. Like, no. they're the heroes. What the fuck? Oh, they die together. Sully gets shot all the... Well, I mean, not... Yeah, so defense, this is Drake your flashback. Too. Yeah. Okay. So this is when they first met. He's a kid. This, I thought, was really cool. Yeah. I she thought was this was uh, one of Colombia, mm -hmm. by the way. Okay, so not Morocco, like I said. Different no. hemisphere. Yeah, different continent. <laughs> yep. And he's a little kid. I remember all this now. This is great. 
And there you are, young Nathan Drake. Got the classic. 12 years earlier. He's kind of dressed or like 20 years you earlier, might dress me. at any day in the that office. That is exactly, I, w I wear that shirt the sometimes. Base, the baseball long sleeve. Yep, I do that. My hair is not quite that long, but it could no. be. He's still got the half tuck though. Yeah, he always does the half tuck. Yep. I don't know, man. It's probably a good place to leave it. This week only, the pirate. I think, uh, I don't want to spoil any of that for the, uh, for the kids. Yeah, I'll give you a quick right. glimpse into the room. There you go. Greatness from small beginnings. I like that. Another good play on words. Yeah. So that's the uh, yeah, so that's the Nathan Drake collection um, coming out when? October 9th. October 9th. Our review, our review should be up on the 30th unless... Maybe. Yeah, unless like the patch is really significant, but... Yeah, we have, to, we have to see what's up with the patch, but uh, yeah. And then for all your Uncharted needs, including Uncharted 4. Or Nathan Drake himself. <laughs> <laughs> Go to GameSpot.com. We're getting out of here.